This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. St. Andrews has joined the growing list of towns and cities across the country choosing not to hold regular Canada Day celebrations this year in the wake of the recent discoveries of hundreds of unmarked graves of First Nations children at former residential school sites. Instead, the town will dedicate the national holiday to unite in solidarity with First Nations communities to reflect on the atrocities inflicted upon Indigenous people throughout Canadian history and the painful and detrimental legacy of the residential school system. If you think about Canada Day traditionally, it's a, it's a time to celebrate our country and if you, you look at the recent events, uh, it, it's pretty hard to have a big celebration and you can still be a proud Canadian and, and admit that the federal government did wrong by what happened and uh, you know to in the wake of the news to have a big national celebration to me personally it didn't feel appropriate and I I can tell you by the response in, in the general public as majority of the residents of St. Andrews feel the exact same way. Instead of wearing red this year the mayor and town council as well as many citizens will wear orange on July 1st the color associated with efforts to remember Canada's residential school history. Orange shirt represents um, Phyllis Wallstead was a lady who went to one of these residential schools and she was so proud her family had bought her an orange t-shirt. When she got there it was taken from her, she never saw it again. The work all Canadians do on the path to truth and reconciliation goes beyond just marking July 1st differently this year. At the Sir James Dunn Academy graduation ceremony at the Cure Amphitheatre in St. Andrews on Thursday, Harry Sapir of the Pescatomagadi Nation and Archdeacon John Matheson of the All Saints Anglican Church both acknowledged the need to remember the victims of the residential school system in Canada. I prayed for the Creator for the children found in Canada today that never made it home. I pray to the Creator that we never forget about how their lives were tragically taken. I pray to the Creator that we never forget about our children. And I want to thank Harry for his mention of residential school children whose graves have been discovered and all those who suffered and uh, recognize the part that the churches in Canada as well as um, the government of Canada uh, cooperating with the churches played in uh, that tragic story. The entire graduation ceremony for SJDA as well as the grad ceremony for the 14 graduates of Camp Bello Island Consolidated School are available on CHCO's Facebook page. In order to do our part to serve our community during COVID-19, CHCO's production team donated their time and skills to provide coverage of local Class of 2021 celebrations, including the Grand March in St. Stephen on Sunday, which I was honored to co-host with John Higgins. The three and a half hour program is available in full, once again, on our Facebook page. Team NB finished fifth overall in the Canadian Chess Challenge 2021 over the weekend. Due to COVID-19, the New Brunswick team competed virtually with competitors from other provinces from their team NB headquarters at the Huntsman Marine Science Centre. So I think we're one of the, the few, if not the only province that was able to coordinate a team uh, playing experience. Um, I know a lot of the other provinces are just too big to be able to organize something like this, but we're glad we pulled it off. Finally, if you're looking for an excuse to go on an evening stroll in downtown St. Andrews, visit the St. Andrews BIA's Facebook page called Waterfront St. Andrews at 8 p.m. each day for a clue to a nightly scavenger hunt. So every night at 8 o'clock, we've been posting a little picture of a piece of architecture or something unique about a business. And the whole point is for people to try to guess that business location down in the waterfront area of St. Andrews. Those who submit their guesses online are entered into regular draws for prizes from local businesses. But the real prize is getting better acquainted with New Brunswick's beloved seaside resort town. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and live streamed COVID-19 updates for the province, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.